Does everyone dream? Everyone dreams. It's just that most people don't remember their dreams. And there is a very clear understanding of what of why they don't remember their dreams, which will take up some other time. But what is clear is everyone dreams. Most people don't remember their dreams. Dreams are very necessary for psychological health. If you don't allow people to dream, their psychological health and in the long run, even the biological health is adversely affected. We spend one tenth of our lives dreaming. And zoologists and biologists have found that the kind of patterns we see in terms of the, the electrical graphs of the mind when we are dreaming, similar kind of patterns are seen even in mammals. So we don't know, but we presume that even in mammals, some kind of dreaming activity or some activity near to the dreaming activity is on. The question therefore is, why should nature invest so much of energy and time in this activity unless this activity has a very strong evolutionary purpose? So everyone dreams and dreams are extremely important and purposeful. They are not meaningless and absurd, even though we may not be able to make out their meaning. And dreams are critical for evolution in some way. And therefore, nature invests so much energy and time into it. This is what nature speaks. I am only quoting nature. I am not adding anything to it. I have one query. When you said uh, allow people to dream, that, that what what do you mean by that? So, is it that people few people are not allowed to dream, or is it that it our its own uh, mindset which is not allowing us to dream? Uh, in everyday life, there is no question of not allowing anybody to dream. We are all free to dream if we wish to. But I was referring to some experiments which were done. Some experiments were done to see what happens if we don't allow a person to dream. So the moment the person gets into the dreaming state, which they are able to make out from those encephalograms, they wake up the person and deny the person of dream. Now, If you deprive the person of dreams, uh, you see that it has adverse impact on biological health and psychological health. So this is something experimentally done that what happens if you deprive somebody of dreaming? And that tells us how critical dreaming is to psychological health, biological health, and perhaps also to evolution. Right. Got it. 